Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I'm going to be going over a Dell 1300. Uh, this is a laptop that was recently launched uh, from Dell. Uh, I was able to pick one up and I wanted to do a review on it since I know it's... I looked and I did not see a lot of available reviews on it currently on uh, online so just wanted to give a quick overview of the laptop and then I'll be following up with uh, some other videos um, with uh, you know more performance things um, and, and use of the device as I as I use it more. Um, this is specifically the 34, excuse me, yeah, 3452 model. So it has an Intel Pentium N3700 quad core processor. It also has four gigs of memory, as well as a 500 gig. Um, hard drive. It does not have a solid state drive, it just has a normal hard drive. Now why did I purchase this laptop? Now I did buy this laptop with my own money just like all the other laptops I review. This was not a review item that I received. Um, it is one I went out and did purchase. Um, I have a laptop that has the Atom processor, the current gen Atom processor. I have one with the current gen Celeron processor that's in a lot of inexpensive laptops. And then I have, now have this one which has the Pentium processor in it. Um, I purchased them all for about the same amount of money, about 250-ish dollars, around in that that price range is what I was able to buy these for. Um, now prices on them have fluctuated. Um, the laptop I bought that has the uh, Celeron is now under $200. Um, the one that I bought with the Atom is now around $150. I've had it a little bit longer. Um, or you can buy one with exactly the same specs for about $150. I actually just bought my wife one for that um, price. Um, and I bought this one for about 206 a little bit more for this, I paid $260, $265 for this laptop. Um, but its price has fluctuated, um, even since I've bought it, it's gone up and gone down a little bit. Um, but because I paid the same amount approximately for all the systems, I figured a good comparison when you go out shopping, since you can sometimes find deals on systems. Now, and all the computers that I review, I go ahead and I run um, PC Mark 8. I run the same version. There's an updated version of PC Mark, but I run the same one just so that it's as close to a common um, ground as possible when reviewing them. And in this case, the score on this one, if I can get my camera to focus, is 1628. Now, the Atom processor's got a score of about 1100. The Celeron, I believe I got about a 1500. So there's a big jump as far as the PC Mark score goes between the um, uh, Atom and the Celeron. Uh, uh, there wasn't much of a jump between the Pentium and, or between the Celeron and the Pentium. However, I don't think that's a very accurate um, depiction of the performance of the machine. Um, simply put, the, the Pentium is leaps and bounds faster and better than the um, Celeron. Now that might be due to a few other things. This has 4 gigs of memory versus um, just 2 gigs on the um, Celeron. It also has a larger hard drive but being that it's you know just a standard um, disk hard drive um, that that might I, I thought that would actually be a detriment to its performance um, versus the um, kind of built-in uh, SSD type uh, memory, or excuse me, storage on the Atom and the Celeron. Now, just some basics of this laptop in compared to um, the other laptops. Here is my ASUS, which is the Atom, and I've reviewed this on my other channel. But on this laptop, what you see is what you get. You can't remove the battery. You can't really upgrade it. The the storage and the um, memory is soldered onto the system board and so if you want to upgrade you, you just can't. The only thing you can really do as far as storage is you can add a micro SD card to it. Um, you're also more limited on ports. This one you have the micro HDMI. Um, you only have two full-size USB ports. Um, the Celeron gives you another USB port and a micro SD port but not a lot more, is, uh, and I believe it has a full-size HDMI port on it. This laptop, on the other hand, 
Now, because it's a Pentium, it does have active cooling. So the fan will turn on when you are pushing it. It's full-size HDMI, uh, one USB 3 port, a full-size um, SD card slot. Which I kind of like having a micro SD slot because almost all my devices, even the camera I'm using right now, uses a micro SD card um, versus a full-size SD card. So it means I have to have a, an adapter with me and two USB 2.0 ports on it. But the big thing is, is this here, this panel can be removed. It has two screws and you have one slot for your memory which it has a four gig um, dim in there and it can be upgraded to eight gigs and it has a removable hard drive and so I actually have an SSD on the way just a little 128 gig SSD and it has a removable battery so if you can find the Dell it is for the same price it's a much better value as far as just overall performance. I also like its overall design, but I'll talk about that in another video. Um, this is mostly just an overview of what, kind of what you get for the money um, as far as basic specs go. But um, I'll be doing, like I said, some comparison videos between the three. I'm going to um, install some games, some applications, just to kind of give an idea of overall performance. Um, between the de uh, devices. So when you're going out and you're shopping, you can have a better informed um, decision. What are you going to be using it for? What are you going to be doing? And you know, what's the best way to spend your money? Because like I said, this one's a little bit more expensive, but is it worth it to buy something just a little bit more expensive to get maybe a little bit better performance? Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, I look forward to your comments down in this uh, comment section below. Also, uh, please feel free to support this channel. I have a link to my Amazon partner link in the um, description. And uh, you can click on that and anything you purchase through Amazon. I get a very small percentage of that and it helps me buy items like this to review. Thank you for watching.